Hello and welcome to the, I was going to say the Burning Metal podcast as usual there, but it's not. Well, it is such, but we're doing our end of year lists now. And we're doing this, the first list we're doing is the EPs. <clears throat> and we're going to do everything separate. So this is going to be Adrian's Conjuring from the Hellfire Club, Scream from the Metal cri- clip, clip, Crypt. Fucking hell, excuse me. <clears throat> In conjunction with Metal Messiah Radio. So these are the, his top 10 singles of the year. And so we're going to kick on now with this and... No funny stories or anything on that list, but now yeah. different, no. different ones tonight now. No yeah. long winded fucking st- intros. And you have started your roundup of the best EPs, singles of the year list, should I say, with Contagion by the Boat Sank at number 10. We should play a minute of that now, and I bet yeah. you're going to get the, the, the ad. Oh, the ad works. Yeah. Don't let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, get played the time. Go on, so your thoughts on your number man. 10. That's an absolute. That's an absolute monster of a fucking tune. You know, a, a crazy fucking maniac on the fucking drums. A fucking, you know. No, I can't wait. I can't wait to see them live. You know. Yeah, there you're on your list for next year. All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know. And for those that aren't aware, they're an instrumental band. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, if we're looking where the vocals, there is none. <laughs> but you've put that at number 10 anyway, so you're... It's hard to disagree with that at number 10 because it is a cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was kind of, I was kind of torn between that and um, Cry Wolf. I know Cry Wolf's a bit slower paced than it is. No, they're both great tracks, but that's phenomenal. That is for me. No. Good stuff. So that was your number 10, Contagion by The Boat Sank. And I could tell you now that our lists are going to be different. Yeah. And, uh, I'll, 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 t- I'll touch on that on my own one. I'll touch on that on my own one. I'm not going to sabotage on your one. Yeah. I'm sorry for botching the start. Yeah. I should have started drinking before I'd done this because this is what happens. If I don't, if I do these sober, I fucking turn the blub, 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 blub. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't learn for again. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, and at number nine on your list, you have chosen Asylum Road, The Fear, and we should play a minute of that now.
motherfucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Play the whole fucking thing. Look at deadly <laughs> fucking chill. No, man, it's kind of um, a bit of a throwback. Fucking Pantera, basically. That grooves. Yeah. And uh, I like the way it makes it kind of a modern sound with it as well. Yeah. You know, today I'm, I can't I can't wait for that funny EP and no, it's the EP going. launch as well and to start of February. Can't wait for that. Yeah. No. And I'll give you a bit of a spoiler. This isn't in my top ten. No, Jesus. no life. It hasn't been officially released yet. Oh, it's not true. online. That's the reason I want. That's the reason it wasn't on the Bandcamp compilation or anything. Because I was right. talking to Darren yeah. and said, "We'll we'll we'll do all this next year." But that's uh, such a good. Oh, tra- yeah. That's such a good track, and the EP is such. This guy's got such potential. I have a feeling yeah. it might be there next year again. Just yeah, true, true. Could, could be all right. Yeah, a little bit there yeah. again next year. A little bit there again next year. I'm playing the long game with this now. Yeah, but I can't argue with Asylum Road to Fear in there at number nine. Absolute cracker. And next on your list for top 10 singles of the year, you've gone with Survivalist Greater Negative. We shall play a minute of that now. I was expecting that. Time, go on. Well, class fucking tune that is, but fucking absolute fucking level place. Yeah, no, fucking who would have no, thought great that? band as well, man. Who would have seen... a great band? Yeah. Who'd have seen top? We've seen the day where Adrian Williams would have a metal core song in his top 10. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but um, no, man, they, they're really fucking good. You know, they are, yeah, they're a really good band, especially for that style that's just fucking force of fucking nature. Yeah. They're the best in the they're best in the country in that style of genre of music. Yeah, for me, in my opinion. yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, for you too, yeah, you have them in your top ten. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. And that was Survivalist, Greater Negative, another cool band, very cool band. And yeah. at number seven on your singles of the year list, you've gone with Ura Monarch, and we shall play a minute of that now. Band very close to your heart, anyway. What? They're a band very yeah. close to your heart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry, go on. Ah, uh, fucking great, great band. 
nice lads as well. Fucking and man, their fucking lives are much better lives. Oh, they are. I'd love to see them. Yeah, you know, they're much better lives. There. I'm hoping okay. they'll get confirmed for a siege next year. Yeah, yeah. Like going forward no. now, I'll be able to do the siege. Because we're going yeah. up and down on the same day. That's all right, yeah. So have you, you've seen, you met Jamie the last time, so we're, we're going to look yeah, at that yeah, way. That, yeah, that so, uh, Yeah, fucking hope so, all right. Fucking. Oh, yeah. Why, going? No. Um, I can't wait to hear the full album now. No way. Um, they played a song. They played. They played a new song on the other night. I went to see them, and it sounded fucking deadly. It is. No, yeah, I seen no. you uploaded it. All right, I haven't checked it out yet. Yeah, yeah, but um, very interested to see how they do in the met the masses as well. Oh, they'd be in for a fucking. They'd be in for a man. Yeah. Yeah. With time shall oh, tell. So, yeah. And that was your number seven on your list of best singles of the year, Aura Monarch. And at number six on your list, you have gone with Indominus War, and we shall play a minute of that now. I don't even know what that one's about. <laughs> Fucking on a different level than it is now. It's com- completely different. Mm-hmm. Oh, completely. No. Uh, there's no comparison whatsoever. No, I know. But um, I love that fucking kind of slammy fucking shit. No. It's nasty fucking tone as well. Great there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> for that, for, for, for yeah. absolutely sure. Yeah. So you have put. War by Indominus at number six on your list. Uh, and, uh, and for the f- one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, yeah, this is for this number five. I'm, I'm sorry, none of the, and then this is why I done yours first, because mine can, is going to be fucking chaos, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm allowed, I'm your, yeah, I'm, I'm, you're representing a brand. I'm just a fool that makes, that does it. <laughs> Anyways. At number five on your on your list, you've gone with Cursed Sun, Devil's Night. We shall play a minute of that now.
unfortunately, I gave him at the time. Go on. <clears throat> Class. Um, I had I had that on me provisionalist before they even released that music video a couple of weeks ago. Oh, sure, the track was released. Yeah, it was released in March. It was yeah, basically it was early this year as a single. It's just um, that's um class song. That's man, they they've really fucking stepped it up from their previous fucking EP. Uh, well, I personally you know, be a fan of Curse of Sun for a long time now. Yeah. You know, like yeah, I know the, the older stuff is what they feel like. They've kind of grown on me a lot in the past year now because I have seen them any time, t- twice, twice this year. Oh. And they just fucking always fucking deliver. They do. They're just fantastic bands. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. So you have chosen <coughs> Cursed o- Sun, Devil's Night at number five. And I can't believe you didn't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't let this slide. Fire it up! Fire it up! Fire oh, it yeah. up! Fire <laughs> it up! We have to. We have to. It's just tradition at this stage. Right? I know. <laughs> and at number four on your list, you have gone with Nebula Laris, Holocene. We shall play a minute of that now. <laughs> Unfortunately, go on, sir. <clears throat> oh. I fucking deadly tune that is. I, I absolutely love that song. I do, yeah, you know. I did basically the three singles they released that's a, that's just on another level from the previous two, which are also fucking great songs, absolutely. You know? And um, really looking forward to that album, yeah, it's the good, one in February, February, yeah. I seen yeah. that one came out. There's, there's going to be a part one of. There's going to be two part albums. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, and we said before that, but about the similarities to the Enigma division in regards to sound on this one. Yeah, did you know that Connor was doing Moe's guitar tech at the Siege of Limerick? No, I didn't. I, I, I knew. He didn't Holy shit! I, I kept that. I kept Jesus. that back for again. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. That's why Indeed. there's a, sim- a similarity because Mo obviously went to Connor and like, I want your sound. Yeah. Well, not obviously, you know, I don't want your sound, but you know. <clears throat> I know, I know, guitar, I know, yeah. Because yeah, I don't sing yeah. guitar bands like. Yeah, exactly. Oh no! As you said there, like that's an that's definitely going to be a potential album of the year next year for without without question. Like yeah, de- yeah, definitely, yeah. On the strength of mine, like your man's vocals are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, height has been around for years now. He has. You so know, I've only become aware of him recently. Yeah, he um, did. He, I think he used to be with a band called Pluter. And then there was, he's still with the dystopian project as well. Very good. Oh. So you've gone for Nebularis at number, f- 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 no, it's number four, number four. Number four, yeah. And at number three, you have got picked ASEC Revolutionary Suicide. We shall play a minute of that now. Well, we skip the long intro and just play the song. Yeah. I think so, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. 
know, I'm, you're know, representing Metal Messiah Radio here. We, uh, we want to keep it fucking, keep it country like. Fucking absolute fucking cracking tune. <laughs> brilliant, it's brilliant. You know? Fucking yeah, and um, fucking um, great. No, it hard to be gone. They came back to fucking vocalist, changed the vocalist, mm-hmm. Aiden, and it sounds fucking deadly. It does sure, man? Aiden, no. executive of numerous vocalists over the years. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Um, I hope they fucking release some EP or a fucking album next year. You know, see what happens. Yeah, they're playing their car- their cards very close to their chest, but they have always done. Yeah, it. yeah, they've always done. Yeah, it. Well, never really given it out in the, anything in advance. Yeah, true. That's. I yeah, that's I I think I think that's more suited to them anyway because they've been around a long time. That. Oh, over ten years, definitely over ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was number three on your list for best singles of the year. Asect Revolutionary Suicide. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to jump over to Bandcamp now because this was not available anywhere else. Oh fuck, which one did you pick? What's going on here? What's happening? Wait, was it Tandemic? Was it Tandemic? Demic you picked on it. Um, skid side, skid side yeah, rivalry. Sorry, sorry, yeah, I fucked, I fucked up there. Sorry, but anyways, <clears throat> at number two on your list, you have picked Pincer Consort- Consortium, skid side rivalry, double oculation. Oh my god, man! This is eleven <laughs> minutes and twenty. We're just going to play a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm we, minute. We, we, I know, I know. We can't I know. fuck all else like. I like the <laughs> game. Stop with them without having the time, but yeah, that's so hard to put them again to sum that up in a minute. I know, I know. Um, I I think the album could be dropping very soon. Yeah, they've more or less told everyone. Yeah, yeah. The f- oh shit! Uh, this is what I feared. Hang on, I'm just gonna pause this for a second. Right. Yeah. 
And it was we kind of got a bit fl- a bit flustered there. I realized something was wrong, but we're we're back on track. But it was about Spencer Consort. You were saying the album is is this that it's more or less said it's coming soon. It's more or less ready. It is. Yeah, I think I think it could be dropping very early in the new year. Yeah. And there is another album of the year contender, if ever there was one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. There's just two of them doing it. Yeah, basically, um, for those who don't, I, I say a few old school heads and no skulls. Mm. Basically, features Pete MCs with Vince Consortium and um, Mashek used to be with um, a band called Keep. I think it was a solo stuff, basically, mm. a couple of years back. And basically, they've decided to combine. It's kind of like an element of fucking both combined together. Yeah, exactly. It's, and the, more modern sounds. And they've been out for a while now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So they were on the first Bandcamp compilation I put together or anything, so that's definitely, that's been at least a year in the process. More, yeah, probably. Definitely. Yeah. Well, you can't argue with that at number two. And that was yeah. Pinsir Consortium. And if you were interested in that band, which you should be, just go to Bandcamp and look up Pinsir Consortium. There's nobody else. They're the first thing that will come up. Yeah. So check them out. Oh, yeah. And if, if, to clarify as well, something too. I should have said done at the start. Our singles list can't be on EPs, can't be on albums. Everything you yeah. have tonight is a single only. It's a basically standalone. They're all the singles I think are stand, basically standalone. I know the they they scene is going to be basically standalone singles. Yeah, you must say yes. it you can't be on no. an EP or an album. Just that's the rules. If you're you're on an album, you're yeah. on an album. If you're on an EP, you're on an EP. Singles are a different matter entirely. And for your single of the year, drum roll. Blah, 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 <laughs> you have picked Handprints <laughs> by Horrenda. We shall play a minute. <laughs> Best they've ever released, man. They just keep improving that band, do No, absolutely. Um, fair, fair fucking play. Fair play to the lad, anyway. You know, fucking, it's kind of it's well deserved for me, anyway. The amount of work they put in, and for the first time in what seems like a long time, they've got a solid, steady lineup. Yeah. That, yeah, I've that, had, they have yeah, had yeah. for a while, but there's always been question marks. But now they're they're back at full force, like yeah, yeah. It's good to see that is now. So that was your top ten singles of the year, and we'll be doing nine now, and in a second, we're just going to f- finish up here now and. And thanks to Adrian at Conjuring's from the Hellfire yeah. Club, Screams from the Metal Crypt for all their help during the year. And there we are, top 10 singles. And to be honest with you, Matt, your list may be the more the complete list, if I'm if I'm honest. Because you kind of yeah. came up at the <laughs> angle of what's the best. I kind of came up at the angle of what I've listened to the most. All right, yeah. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. touch on that in my my and yeah, fair play. And we will point out that Metal Messiah Radio will be doing the EPs of the list on Thursday night. Yeah, 
And we'll, of course, we'll cover. We'll Hot mention that. We'll mention that in every one of yeah. your roundup, your roundups, and then you'll be doing the albums of the year list on the twenty. The twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. December. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the two lists coming on Metal Messiah Radio, which will be broadcast from Florida, which is really fucking cool. Yeah. Anyways, thanks to all for watching. That was Asian Top folks. Ten Singles of the Year list, and we shall be back soon. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that stuff. We'll see you in a minute.